Hey, Claude Polani, our affiliate starting line. Welcome. This is going to be a series of videos on the photo utility on the Mac called iPhoto. It's a program right here. You find it in the bottom here on the dock. And it comes standard on all Macintoshes. And all you got to do is click it, or, and it opens up. Now, it's a photo management utility. So the main screen actually looks like this. Um, and I just want to point out basic areas that you want to be aware of when it opens up. When you open up and you look at the main screen, you've got four different areas you want to look for. One, there's the nav bar right up here at the top. So that has drop downs that, ex that tell you about the program, the preferences, everything you would expect in the iPhoto drop down. The file also has what you would expect. You can create albums, new folders. These are, you can create books, cards, calendars, slideshows, and, and actually package them for a, a price. Those are paid services, import to a library, switch library, etc. Edit has all the edit functions, copy, paste, select, etc. You'll see that when you start editing, find font, spelling. Photos, uh, you can rotate photos, hide them, flag them uh, if they're important, all that kind of stuff. Events, events are the downloads. When you download and you import from a camera, it will create an event, which is really a download. Uh, and uh, and it organizes them to by default by date, and then you can go in and name and title them. Um, photo stream, you can share to photo stream, email, Facebook, Flickr, etc. You can set your views, titles, keywords, etc. We'll get to that. And these are, these are basic nav bar drop downs. Left hand sidebar here is very important because this is where you'll be working. Under the library, you're going to get the downloads you have. In this case, I have 150 events. 150 downloads. I have 2,740 pictures in those 150 downloads. So it separates them either by dated event and titles, and then you just lists all the photos. Uh, I can go into faces and identify who's in the picture. I can go to places and identify where the pictures were taken. And then under recent, you get the recent pictures you've been looking at, what you've done, uh, unloaded, uploaded in the last 12 months, your last import, your photo stream, which is what you have up in the cloud, your flagged photos, if you're printing a picture and it's waiting to be printed, and then your trash. On the web, do you have? I have a connection to Facebook. You can connect to Facebook, uh, Flickr, uh, and I guess different types of services. I'm connected to Facebook uh, alone right now. Devices, I have my iPhone hooked up. And so this will appear if you don't have any devices hooked up, that will not be in the sidebar. Albums, you've create albums out of all the pictures you have. Projects, these are where you want to uh, create a book, a slideshow, etc. Your projects are listed under here. So that's the sidebar, the left hand sidebar. Below here on the bottom, there's another uh, nav, a sidebar or function bar, I'll call it. Here you can zoom in and zoom out the size of the photos that you want. as how they appear in the main pane. You can go to a slideshow. I don't want to do that. Then uh, right here, you have a bunch of functions. Now, these are very helpful and important. The information function allows you to take a picture, if you want to select a picture, and you can name it. If I haven't titled it, you know, you can title it. Uh, you can identify the face. Uh, you can put keywords, if you want to do that, to identify what's in the picture. And then you can assign a place to it uh, where the picture was, was taken, etc. So you can really kind of put the meta tags together on this picture. You can edit the picture if I wanted to, uh, you know, to rotate it, enhance it, uh, fix red eye, do it automatically, straighten it, crop it, retouch it. Uh, you can do that in, in terms of effects. I can come in here and lighten, call it, make it more, add more contrast. I can adjust. This is what I find very helpful. Different levels here, the exposure, the contrast. This is what you really end up playing with more. So the saturation, take it down, and so on. So you can see what you can do here under the edit. To create, you can create a book, a card, a calendar, a slideshow. This is what refers to the paid services I talked about before. I can add this picture to an album, to a photo stream, to a slideshow, whatever I'm creating. And then I can also go share it on Flickr, on Facebook, by email, photo stream, and order prints. So that's what the functions here in the lower nav bar do when you get into the right-hand sidebar. And that is a basic overview of iPhoto. 
and it's a very versatile pro uh, product. It's it's really once you get the knack of what you can do in here, it's a lot of fun, and. Uh, if you have a Mac, it comes loaded with it automatically. So if you, when you want to load in pictures, I, you connect your, in my case, I just connected my iPhone. I've, I, <clears throat> what, it, what it will do is it will show this screen. You have import selected or you can import all the photos. I already imported these 18. It loaded them into an event and then uh, that was it. It was all done. Uh, you can connect another camera. You can uh, upload from other places on the web, etc. So there you are iPhoto. So this is a quick overview and now we're going to go in uh, and take a look at these different functions and actually edit some pictures in later videos. That's it. Hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Blanc Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it. Stay well. And talk soon.